Are you ready for an update, mateys? <laughs> All right, fine, let's get it over with. I'm uploading this video with some Nomad internet. Link in the video description if you need some unlimited internet. Otherwise, let's, let's talk about this. Yeah, okay. All right, hey everybody. I have held out as long as I possibly could to make this video. I hope all of your uh, Christmas plans and everything went well with friends and family. Uh, I'm certainly keeping a positive attitude. However, the last couple days, the last three days have been really rough for me and I finally had to go to the ER for what's going on right here. And that is this nonstop every six months for the fifth time in a row my eye is reinfected and I had to go to the emergency room had to have some fluid drained from my eyelid I have two different styes and ironically now I have pink eye in my left eye and it wouldn't even be that big of a deal except for the fact that basically my entire life is based on putting this mug on YouTube for a living <laughs> So I kind of just don't care anymore. Now I'm to the point where I'm just sharing my life with the world and just kind of just going with the flow, man. I will tell you that finally, for the first time, the pain is gone. And that's a really good feeling. I'm on some really good medication this time. Same antibiotics, same kind of eye ointment treatment that I've had the other four times. So I know it's going to go away. And most importantly, the swelling is gone. I will show you one picture over here of what it looked like the day before I went to the emergency room. It's just been a crazy, funny nightmare. <sighs> you know, and I don't think I've ever taken this much time off YouTube either. So I'm driving around in tater tot right now. It is currently nine degrees in Illinois. Feels like negative two. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would choose to be in a place that was in the negatives. It is bitterly cold. We don't even go above 25 degrees anymore in the daytime here in Illinois. It's time to get the heck out of here. That's my plan. So tomorrow we're heading out of here. Gonna go back to the house, pack up all the Christmas decorations and everything, and make sure the house is secure and get the heck south quick as quickly as possible in fact i don't even know how much filming i'm going to be doing we just gotta go straight south right now <laughs> this is embarrassing hopefully i will only have to wear the eye patch for a week as they said but you never know I, you know it may flare back up I'm hoping that it won't and i just wanted to make a video and let you all know i'm doing well we're going for a little drive today taking tater tot out. I know it doesn't even look that cold, huh? Because with all the sunshine and everything, no, it's nine degrees. It is freezing cold and every little puddle is frozen. But uh, we're hanging out here in East Alton and I want to show you this really cool spot down here. Kind of one of my go-to places. Oh, we're going to have to wait in a little bit of a longer line than I'm used to, but we're here at one of the uh, hit and run franchises of this area of Illinois, which uh, remarkably has done really well. Uh, with the whole everything going on with the virusy thingy because they have the uh, drive through so they can just shut down the inside there and restrict you to stay in your car and they do curbside delivery you just tell them what you want and one of my favorite things to get here nearly every single day is a hot chocolate with marshmallows it's just crazy like they back up the road and everything and we're all just like yeah this, it can easily be a 20 25 minute wait but you know, you get to stay in your car. You don't have to go in somewhere and have the masky thing going on or have people judging you or anything. You just you just drive through and get whatever you want. You can get soda, hot chocolate, beer, cigarettes, whatever you want, you know? I'm just after the hot chocolate today. Also, uh, the other news is that today I'm trying out for the first time my new microphone system. So in my life with a cat who loves chewing cords for a living, having a wireless microphone wireless transmitter on top of the camera wireless microphone right here oh he gave up he left uh i think this is going to work a lot better and that way i can set the camera you know two football field lengths away and still have perfect great audio for you so this is just something new i'm trying we'll see how it works out hopefully we won't ever get into a place where there's a bunch of weird like radioactive interference or something and it messes with the audio but it seems to be working pretty well and it's also got the dead cat windshield on there so should protect us when we go to the ocean together 
yeah, it's been it's been a great it's been a great Christmas actually. When we get back to the RV, there's some awesome stuff I want to show you. For right now, we still are not moving. I was pretty much bragging about how awesome this is, but we got about eight cars to go before we get up to the window to order our hot chocolate. Get back to you in a minute. I may crank up my new stereo here in Tater Tot, and again, you know, I'll show you when we get back what's going on. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's pretty cool. I like hit and run here in Illinois. I will miss it when I go south, but there's waffle houses down south. So. Oh, dang, my hot chocolate's hot. They didn't even warn me that it'd be hot. Oh, wait. Yeah, they kind of did it here. Yeah. Well, let's head on back to where the RV's parked at Modified Auto Sound and uh, show you a couple uh, upgrades to the RV and Tater Tot. All right, so we're back at Modified Auto. Again, it's cold, guys. This is the coldest I have ever boondocked in my life. When it starts getting into single digits, I'm not used to this. Uh, I hinted on Instagram at a couple changes to Tater Tot on the outside. So we're gonna start with that. And that is the new logo on the side of Tater Tot that matches the one on Miranda there. Uh, it's like that on both sides. And also, since the uh, Tater Tot's gonna be towed behind the RV, we got the newest sticker put on the back. This is uh, perforated material on the glass that goes down into regular UV resistant vinyl on the bottom. Of course, we got jacks up on top of the RV, my customary looking out the window with my thumbs up, perforated so that you can see out this. Not sure if you can see through there to the front, but yeah, I can see out this, but you can't see in it. And then the vinyl wrap uh, extends over the trunk. I'll show you this part opens like that. And you can see the wheels of the RV go down. And then we even had the uh, smart logo uh, actually removed from Tater Tot here. So, you know, it's always good to advertise your channel. I get a lot of people behind me all the time. Maybe we're in traffic. Maybe we're stuck in a drive through or something. It's a great way to get people to get over to the channel and get some new subscribers. So you might as well. And again, on the other side, driver's side, same thing. The standard Nomadic Fanatic logo, it looks great because the car is black and white. The logo is black and white and towed behind the RV, it matches the same logo already on Miranda there. Let's take a quick break from uh, Tater Tot and go to the RV. Notice the uh, levelers are down. Yes, working 100% and Little uh, extra on there. I finally got my jack pads. I think they're called snap pads, but the RV community calls them jack pads. These are permanent jack pads, and I have them on all four levelers, even up on the front up there. It's a little tricky getting them on with detergent. Robert helped me get these on. Once they snap into place, they are permanent with a lifetime guarantee, made from 100% recycled rubber. They go up and down with them. They make it so that you can park evenly on a rock surface like this. And also, you can use these at Walmart or any other place that has concrete or asphalt without damaging or cracking that asphalt. So, a great investment for your levelers. And, and now that my levelers work 100%, I figured it was time to finally give them some love and uh, make sure that they continue to operate and work the best they can. So, thank you, Robert, for your help with that. And then also, lastly, finally, Tater Tot starts with a new seven inch touchscreen Sony deck here, the double din that replaced the factory one. We also upgraded the two front speakers with Sony speakers. Those were component speakers, so we also have the treble on the side, both sides of the smart car here. The uh, Sony deck has actually got a built-in amplifier for the front speakers, but what's a system without some bass? So the Gary, you saw he was uh, hanging out with me at Six Flags. He's back here working at Modified Auto. <laughs> he, he packed Tater Tot with two Sony 10 inch uh, woofers in a ported box here that barely fit. In fact, you can see the uh, subwoofer amplifier right here. This was my choice. Don't say it's wrong or anything like that. You can put these under the seat. You can mount them to the box. I asked specifically to have it mounted to the side here where the access panels are to replace the bulbs here. The purpose of that is so that it's super easy for me to replace this if I, if I need to haul something real quick. I just undo the uh, 
where are they, on, on the back, the, the, the speaker wire, and this just pops right out, and the amplifier and all the main wires stay there. So they did a super clean job, and man, it's frustrating to me because so bad you want to show the world what the audio sounds like, but my stats show that 82% of my viewers are watching all of my videos on their cell phone anyway. So no matter what I capture here, 82% of my viewers are watching from a cell phone speaker or their laptop or computer. Some people watch on their big screen TV with soundbar like I do, but there's no sense of trying to show you what it sounds like. All I can say is, oh my gosh, it literally bumps better than the system that I have in Miranda. If you can believe that, maybe because it's a smaller space or something that I love putting money back into small businesses and I need some tunes for the road. It was just something that I really, really wanted. I forgot my hot chocolate and my fingers are going numb. Let's go inside. I can't even thaw my fingers out. It's so freaking cold out there. Holy cow. Okay, that's good. Jax, what the heck are you doing? Mr. Mentor? I got really cold hands. Sorry, man. He's like, man, get those cold clod hoppers off me right now. Sorry, man. Misty man. One of the most obvious things that people are probably asking me is how I'm boondocking and living in an RV with single digits outside because I, I didn't winterize my RV. In fact, yeah, I still got running water. I got the hot water heater going on. I'm keeping my lithium batteries above freezing and my tanks from freezing, both my holding tanks and my fresh water tank and my water pump. Man, I've been doing this a long time, guys. 10 years I've been full-time RVing and it has taken me a decade to figure everything out. And I'm not saying I have the best way to do it, but I have figured out a way to literally almost comfortably really live in an RV in the winter in single digits. And I'm totally okay with how everything's working. All right, we're gonna start with the brains of the operation, my battery bank, my Victron stuff and everything. I've got my magnetic covers here on there to keep the cold out. These are also keeping rain out and stuff like that. And I'll show you what's going on down here. I don't wanna let out too much heat, but let me latch this up like that. All right. I've got a 250 watt portable heater. This is a safety heater. When it tips over, when that click right there pops out, it turns off automatically. Once it goes back down, it's fine, it's on. It's keeping the battery, these will not charge once they freeze. So I am able to keep this compartment steadily heated to about 55, 60 degrees all day, just plugged in, only 250 watts. And this is only for while I'm parked. When I'm not parked, it has to be unplugged or turned off or tipped over so that it's not working, okay? This cord is an extension cord. This is a 15 foot extension cord that runs underneath here. You can also see my holding tanks, my gray tanks there, my black tanks there. You don't want those to freeze, but this extension cord goes to the other side of my RV, which we're gonna go look at right now. Right, so the other side of the RV, and I am gonna show you this even though I really don't want to. Remember, this is the bay that I had to tear up. So ignore what it looks like and just think about the functioning for right now until I make this look better. Or Robert helps me make it look better because that doesn't look good, huh? But back there, you see my second 250 watt handy heater, little portable heater. I have it propped up on a little metal flange there just to keep it off the floor. The actual fan is on the bottom, so you can't stand it up in the traditional sense. So I have to keep it like that. It is keeping all of the piping in here. There's the other end of the black and gray tank, right? We got the water pump in there. We got all my water lines going up. Once it goes back up to the floor, I don't have to worry about it because I'm running the furnace inside. I am not running electric heat. So I'm running 500 watts through solar of the actual portable heaters so that I can maintain my water stuff. Man, this looks terrible. I've got to repair this eventually. So that is how I can boondock in single digits. We're not terribly excited about the fact that the furnace squeal has returned, but the furnace is ripping and roaring in there. And we just set it to 70 degrees in here. And uh, really what I should be doing is kind of popping open some of these just to let some heat get under the sink to uh, all the plumbing and everything. But as I proved, yes, we're still running water. Nine degrees outside. Oh, hi Jax, what do you need? Do, do you need something? You wanna show me? 
Okay, show me. Well, I know, but what is it? Use your human words. You don't have human words? You have, oh, you have cat words? I'll try to understand. I have a feeling it's something to do with treats. Because it, it usually is. Did you want some? Oh, you like those? Okay, there's one more there. Good boy. Nope, get your schnauzer out of there. All right, and I just cl cleaned up from all the cooking I did today because I'm back on my normal healthier diet, like staying away from fast food and eating pizza all the time. So I uh, baked my chicken, I steamed the corn, I made steamed rice, and I cooked the bacon for, for breakfast. And in the fridge, we're keeping uh, five of my prep meals. So we got, I'm gonna see chicken, rice, and corn in there, okay? five of those there's my bacon there's my eggs for breakfast got my atkins protein drinks there and then up in the freezer i've got five more of these uh so i'm going to rotate these out every time i take one cold one from there i'm going to bring a frozen prepared meal put that back down there i got my i guess these are my cheat days but they're not even terrible these marie challenger ca ca calendar meals and stuff they're not terrible got my atkins pizza up there tater tots because i ain't no tater hater and you're gonna need them from time to time so i actually have a decision to make once i get back to the house am i going to grab my elliptical machine and store it back here in this area between the bed and the and the dresser or am i just gonna stick to body boss and my electric e-bike outside i don't know yet Oh my gosh, that's good. I'm gonna decide that later. So that's my video. Hope you guys are doing good. Let me show you these pink clouds. Look at the clouds. Isn't that pretty? Even though it's cold, the pink's not really showing up, but it's pretty over there. Uh, other than that, in my next video in two days, we're gonna hook Tater Tot up and I, a bunch of people asked me, if they're like, Eric, we'd love to see how you, how, step by step, exactly how one person hooks up a car. So I didn't think it'd be that interesting, but because so many of my viewers asked, yeah, in my next video, I'll show you from start to finish, hooking up Tater Tot to the back of the RV and all the steps I gotta do inside the car to get her ready. And uh, you'll see that to start my next video in two days. Happy New Year, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.